The magic method absolute value if implemented returns the absolute value of object which is passed as argument. In this example, my class contains no absolute value method. Now in main when I call build in function absolute value with object 1 as argument, Python returns an error. Now my class contains absolute value method, which returns the absolute value of instance variable health. In main when I call build in function absolute value with object 1 as argument, Python returns me absolute value of instance variable health. Similarly, the magic method round returns the rounded value of object passed as argument. In this example, my class contains round method, which returns the number rounded to the nearest integer. The second argument n of method round is value rounded after the decimal point. For example, if n is 2, the instance variable is rounded 2 digits from the decimal point, as shown in this example. And if n is omitted, it defaults to 0. Similarly, Python also provides positive, negative and invert methods for unary operators, as shown in this example. Note, an uh, invert operator inverts the binary bits. Now let's see the next magic method add. When two integers are added together, this method is called to create a new integer object. But if you define add method for your class, your class will support plus operator as well. Now suppose I have two objects of class player, and I want their addition like two integer objects. Without having add method in my class, Python returns me an error message. In this example, I have implemented magic method add, which returns the addition of instance variable health. So in main, when I add both objects object 1 and object 2, Python returns the addition of instance variable health as a result. Similarly, Python provides other magic methods for subtraction, for floating point division, for float division, for multiplication, div mode which divides two number and returns a pair whose items are quotient and remainder, modulo operation, and power. Some binary methods have two or three versions, and they are preceded by alphabet R or I. For example, add method has r add, also called reverse add, and i add, also called in place add. Let's see an example of reverse add method. In this example, I have implemented add function in my class, and in main I have created an object of class player. Now when I try to add integer value 5 and object 1 of class player, Python returns 110. Now my left operand is integer and right operand is object 1. In this case, Python returns an error message. To avoid such errors, Python provides reverse add method. Now everything works fine. Now let's look at in place addition method. If my class contains in place addition method, I can use plus equal operator on my object, as shown in this example. Similarly, Python provides reverse and in place methods for multiplication division, subtraction, etc. Now let's look at the left shift and right shift methods. In this example, I have implemented left shift method, which takes two arguments, self and other, where the argument other specifies the number of positions to be shifted left. Now in main, I have shifted my instance variable health by one. If you know binary numbers, shifting one to left is equal to multiplying the number with integer value 2. Similarly, you can also implement right shift method. Python also provides reverse and in place versions of left and right shift methods. Similarly, we have also magic methods for other logical operators. They are AND, OR and XOR operators. Now let's look at other magic methods which are used to check equality between two operands. In this example, I have implemented equal method, which compare instance variables health. If the instance variable healths are equal, Python returns true. Similarly, Python provides method for relative comparison. They are less than, less than equal to, greater, and greater than equal to. Similarly, we have also bool, complex, float, and integer methods. In this example, I have implemented all these methods. Bool method returns true if the argument is also true. 
float converts the argument to a float value, integer to integer value, and complex method to a complex number.